Don and Sister Ann and her crew for just working so hard. Give them a hand, please. I just remember Sister Ann when she was a little girl. I guess she might have been four or five years old. She threw wedding. She threw, I guess, petals down uh, for me to come down as uh, to be married. And today, I thank God that she is still planning and doing things. All these flowers she put around here, who would have ever known that she would have been the one planning an anniversary now? From a little girl throwing flowers down the aisle, getting get married, now she's planning anniversaries. So we appreciate everything that you have done and all of you that have come out just to be a part of this. And just to see some old friends and faces and cousins and relatives that <laughs> that we grew up with a long time ago. Uh, Anthony's mother, Mother Juanita, Edwana, yes, yes, Edwana Norwood planned my wedding. She did a wonderful job, no cost, just because we were family and she loved us. So we praise God. I wish I wish she was was here tonight just so I could just say hi to her one more time. But well, we have so many memories here at Refuge Temple. It's, it's just astounding how God has worked here. There are so many that have come through Refuge Temple. This place should be full to honor the bishop that has served here for 53 years and then the one that is here helping it just keep on thriving. I praise God for the legacy. I thank you for what he is doing. Glory to God. What a mighty God we serve. And I want to work as long as I can, while I can, with all that I have in my heart, mind, and soul. Because truly, you know what? I'm glad I'm saved. I'm glad I'm saved. I'm glad that one day, hallelujah, he will save my soul. I wouldn't want to live any other life. Because I've seen some of the lives that didn't have Jesus Christ in them. I would rather be saved today and go back with Jesus. I'm looking forward to that. If anybody go to heaven, I want to go. I don't want to go down there. I want to go to heaven. Y'all pray my strength in the Lord. I am going to introduce my husband and my pastor at this time as he comes forth. Somebody that I've been married to for 45 years. Still in love with him. Thank the Lord for him. We've been through a lot together. And uh, hopefully we'll go through a whole lot more together. And we bought t-shirts. Y'all know we bought t-shirts that says, if you leave it, I'm going with you. So you ain't going nowhere without me. Come on up, Pastor. Make your copy of your Just as I stand on the strong shoulders of my father and those that came before me, I believe we all stand on strong shoulders and pillars and mothers and deacons and ministers that were before us. And did an excellent job. And we thank God. I want to acknowledge that and is standing on the shoulders of those that have coordinated and worked anniversaries for years. Maybe Sister Vivian Ross, Sister Battle, and the most recent, I think for about 17 or 18 years, former Apostle Solomon, my father, Sister Catherine Fleetwood. So Anne had a head start because she could stand on the shoulders that have built so much and helped us to be where we are. We've come a long ways, but we still have a long ways to go. If the rapture don't come, we got a lot of souls that need to be saved. And I firmly believe that we are here on this corner of Palmetto and Joseph E. Lowry, 
because God wants us to touch the lives of people in this community. He wants us not just to touch them, but to draw them. Not by just the preaching of the gospel and the singing and the fine arts, but the life we live speaks volumes of who God is. When we, he brings them in, it's up to us to win them and to keep them because we walk the talk. And I just want to thank Mother Smith, my brother Haywood. He, he, he was young. He don't know how poor we were. He thought we were close to poor. If you looked in West and looked up the word poverty, you would have seen the Solomon family. We had nothing. But we, we, we had God. And, and I always believe that my father's rich. In houses and land, he just took a while to give it to us. And finally, he let us have just a little bit of it. I can say I once was lost in my I once was very poor. Now I'm just hope. We, we are so, so wonderfully blessed. And I'm going to cut off my comments. I will have a chance on Sunday afternoon or next Saturday, amen, to really speak. I thank God for my companion, amen. You all don't know how much she has encouraged me because there have been days in the past that I said, I quit. I'm tired of fooling with these African-American Holy Ghost field folks. I'm sick of these saved people too saved to act right I go home and she said it'll be alright and I looked at her and I said you crazy I talked like Joe she just prayed and let me go on and then the next day I got up she get dressed and I said I might as well get dressed and go to church and preach like I'm crazy and come home and be alright so I do thank God for her, amen, sticking by it and pushing me when I didn't want to be pushed. And at this time, I'm going to turn it back over to our pastor. Another gift. The theme of, of uh, color for this is purple and gold. Yes, sir. And so they went and got me something that epitomized perfection. Right. Some purple with some gold. Amen. And for all you real saved folks, don't be hating. Let us stand. Once again, thank you so very much for inviting us. We have enjoyed ourselves very, very much. I would ask uh, Elder Campbell if he come and give the benediction and have a few words. We have really enjoyed ourselves here tonight. Praise the Lord. Let's lift our hands up to the Lord. Father, we thank you, Father, for this great anniversary. We thank you for the great history of this institution. We pray, God, that your anointed and your spirit will continue to rest upon this place. Bless the pastor, the first lady of this church. Bless the people of God. Support the ministry. Use us for the glory of God. Bless you in the body as for now and forevermore. And all of God's people said, Amen. Amen. Downstairs. If you would like to purchase an order of tonight's CD, uh, please fill out one of the uh, note cards in the back. If you would like to purchase any CD from Apostle Solomon, if you would like to purchase a church.